The Trump media stock is absolutely tanking today, and this follows Trump media making a filing with the SEC, an 8K filing revealing that uh, the company had generated just $4.1 million, with an M, $4.1 million in revenue for all of 2023, while racking up a $58 million net loss in 2023. As uh, Justin Barragona, reporter, states, these numbers are very similar to The Messenger, which went under in less than a year, although I would uh, correct that slightly. The Messenger was having about 18 to 19 million visitors per month believe the Trump media uh, website, Truth Social, is getting something in the range of between 5 and 10 million uh, unique visitors every single month. So actually far less than the messengers. We could just take a look right here at the consolidated statement of operations from Trump Media and Technology Group. So you can just see it for yourself. This was in the filing with the SEC. If you look at uh, the P&Ls, you can just see it was a $58 million loss. You can see the $4.1 million in revenue. And so something that uh, generates $4.1 million in revenue with a $58 million loss, it is simply inexplicable other than it's trading at a meme stock, how anything could have a valuation in the billions when it comes to financials that are so horrible, in my opinion, like this Trump media group. I mean, if you looked at, you know, uh, evaluation as a multiple of revenue, which I don't know why you would even do that here, given the $58 million loss and the fact that um, there's no appreciable growth strategy here whatsoever, and you're only getting between 5 to 10 million visitors every single month. What do you want to apply a three to four times multiple, if I'm being generous to revenue here, which you wouldn't do based on the loss, but so what, you would have Trump Media being valued at $12 million, $15 million at most, in my opinion, but um, because it's trading like a meme stock, and I always said that the retail investors need to be very, very cautious and very aware of what is going on. And I've always predicted here, it's not a matter of if Trump Media now trading under the stock ticker DJT, it was previously Digital World Acquisition Company, I was saying it's not a matter of if DJT or DWAC before that um, is going to fail. It's a matter of when because the fundamentals and the financials simply don't back anything up for anywhere near the valuation here. And it seems to just basically be short sellers versus short squeezers and people trying to all like screw each other and game the system. Um, uh, and that's what appears to be what's going on here in my opinion. You take a look and you delve deeper into this 8K. There's some additional disclosures that's worth uh, reporting here. You've got uh, Devin Nunes, um, who's the CEO of the organization. You'll see that Devin Nunes was paid $750,000. Former MAGA Republican Congress member, uh, Devin Nunes, uh, MAGA Republican, very loyal to Donald Trump, engaged in what I thought was a lot of improper conduct, and I'm sure you did as well, while he was a member of Congress for Donald Trump. He would like bring things over to Donald Trump in the White House and like quite literally sneak things to Donald Trump over in the middle of the night. And so here's Nunes getting rewarded with uh, $750,000 there. Also, uh, as you look through the 8Ks, you see uh, Cash Patel, um, a loyalist to Donald Trump, as well as Trump's social media guy and former deputy chief of staff, Dan Scavino also getting some big paychecks right here. Cash Patel was getting paid about $120,000 a year. Dan Scavino, who also works um, on the uh, on the Trump campaign, um, making here about $240,000 in 2023. And also the Trump media issued a promissory note of $2.2 million to Dan Scavino as well. 
And so it's just an interesting thing to see here how people like Kash Patel and Dan Scavino, who are working on who are working with Donald Trump in the campaign capacity as well, are here also getting paid using Trump media as a vehicle for that. And you see Scavino getting this uh, promissory note as well. When you go through the SEC 8K filing as well, that uh, seems to be one of the causes that precipitated the tanking of the stock. Also, the fact that its fundamentals are just completely trash. Um, you see that it mentions that the $18 million cease and desist civil penalty to the SEC. Um, it talks about uh, in connection with the consummation of the business combination on March 25th, Digital World paid $18 million civil penalty to the SEC pursuant to the cease and desist order that was for engaging in unlawful communications prior to the S-1 being filed, prior to the announcement of the SPAC, and it looks like that Trump Media made uh, a, a Digital World Acquisition Company, the SPAC sponsor, pay that amount from what was held in the escrow account from the initial group uh, of investors. Ever tried to break a bad habit and felt like you're climbing Everest in flip-flops? Yeah, we've been there too, but here's a breath of fresh air. Fume, it's not about giving up, it's about switching up. Fume takes your habit and simply makes it better, healthier, and a whole lot more enjoyable. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. The first time I tried fume, it was way more flavorful than I thought, and it feels very fresh. The look and feel of Fume is very sleek, it's well-weighted, perfectly balanced, and extremely fun to fidget with. Plus, Fumes just released a magnetic stand for your Fume, so there's no more losing it around the house. It's built with fidgeting in mind. You can spin your Fume around and around and around it. Start the year off right with the good habit by going to tryfume.com slash Midas, T-R-Y-F-U-M dot com slash Midas and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of the show 10% off when you use our code Midas to help make starting the good habit that much easier. Go to tryfume.com slash Midas and use our code Midas. Um, you go through the 8K, it talks about all of these lawsuits. Lawsuit against ARC and Patrick Orlando. Litigation with United Atlantic Ventures in Delaware. Lawsuits against United Atlantic Adventures, Latinsky, Moss, and Orlando in Florida. There's lawsuits all over the country right now with this. And not shareholder lawsuits yet here. The lawsuits that we're talking about, well, not uh, retail shareholders. I mean, the other people are shareholders as well. But but these were like some of the initial founders with Donald Trump. We're talking about you know Orlando being one of the founders on the SPAC sponsor side, and then you had the other individuals who were kind of founders on the Trump media side who brought him that idea. You, they're all in, involved in lawsuits with Donald Trump, saying that Trump engaged in improper conduct towards them. Everybody is suing everybody here, and that's made very clear in the 8K. That's one of the risk factors that's listed as well. The outcome of any legal or regulatory proceedings that have been or may be instituted in the future against the Trump media group and others and the costs thereof may be um, a risk factor that can cause the, um, the, the failure of this organization. And then uh, the new 8K, of course, incorporates by reference the uh, risk factors that were listed in the initial um, uh, tr uh, Trump media merger documents, which talked about all of the various bankruptcies of Trump entities over time and all of the Trump uh, 
companies that have failed over time. I mean, it's a laundry list. If we just pull that up right there, I mean, you can take a look at, it just lists bankruptcy, 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 all these things over the past 30 years and plus where Donald Trump has run companies into the ground, not to mention another publicly traded company that he ran um, into the ground. Um, you know, and so look, we've been raising the red flag here. We've been, we've been raising um, uh, the uh, red alerts here to everybody saying, look, 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 everybody, this is a major, major issue. You've got this Trump media doing, uh, I mean, what, I mean, what, five to 10 million unique visitors a month, 4 million in revenue a year. People are going to get seriously hurt by this. And Donald Trump has been positioning this. So he becomes the beneficiary and it seems that everybody else would get screwed. Just if you even look at the at the trash that's on Truth Social, it's just some of the strangest stuff. I mean, just take a look at some of the stuff that's on there. Like I, I look at it from time to time because I'm probably one of the I'm one of those un, unique visitors who show up because I'm trying to look to see the filth and what's being posted there, so I can raise the uh, alarm to everybody about what's going on. And so it says things like with the billions of tax dollars Washington has given to Ukraine, we could have finished the wall and still had money to spare. Democrats voted to fine Americans for not buying health insurance, but want to give illegal immigrants for free. And then it, and then it says, estate planning for gun owners. Yes, it's different. I, you know, so there's ads like that and there's, and there's posts like that. Um, you know, what I found interesting too last year um, was when you had people like Patrick Bet David, a right wing uh, podcaster, who would say things like, if Truth Social fails, that will actually help Donald Trump. Take a look at the monthly visitors to Truth Social, August 2022, 11.5 million visitors. Take a look at February 2023, 5.7 million visitors. That's a 50% drop off in six months. The longer Truth is around, the better it is for his opponent. So they tried to spin it like this is a good thing for Trump when it's uh, failing. Um, but we'll keep you posted. Um, as I've said before, in my opinion, it's not a matter of if this fails, it's a matter of when it fails. And I think that, um, you know, perhaps what I underestimated, which I shouldn't have, you know, was the kind of depth and extent here to which um, how how horrific this failure I think is going to be for the retail investors and and what a massive massive um, kind of uh, fall in my opinion I think this is going to have I, th I think I perhaps even us underestimated that piece of it but we will see we'll keep you posted but as of right now um, you know the, the the stock is not doing well. Um, and you'll see why, I mean, there's no, there's no fundamentals that back it. And that's why I wanted to show you, look, $58 million loss, $4 million in revenue. You're talking about, as I said before, you know, five to 10 million visitors. That's, again, I said Midas Touch does about three to four times the amount of visitors in a 48 hour period, I think than what Trump media would do in a month based on those numbers, something like that. Anyway, I'm Ben Micellis. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.